the first item is audio adapter. So I assume it's a mono eighth inch in and a mono therefore quarter inch out. So I wanted this because when I'm doing audio projects and I'm using this amplifier, it has a quarter inch input, but I'm usually working with an eighth inch audio cable. So now I don't have to use alligator clips or other weird things to hook stuff up. Up next, in an anti-static bag, some PLCC through-hole sockets and some PLCC chips. MT8816. Those are those 8 by 16 channel analog matrix ICs. I've already used the 40 pin dip version of it, but I'm thinking two of these practically take up the same or less space as one of these. So if I want two of these in a project, I thought I would try doing it this way. And when working on projects, especially with a lot of interconnects off of the board, JST style connectors I may have a use for. So it looks like along with crimp pins, I have the PCB side and the wire harness plug-in side, two pin and seven pin connectors here. I'm not sure exactly what I need. I've already got some other connector sizes. These are more filling in the blanks so that I can have a lot of options. But if I'm gonna be hooking up a bunch of audio signals into this sort of analog matrix, I just want a way to be able to plug it in more securely than just a bunch of DuPont wires falling all over the place and making intermittent contact. So, just getting ready for doing some prototyping. Now this one, it says rush on it. It did come pretty fast. So, now that is the most securely packaged thing from AliExpress I've ever received, I think. USB cable. And this is an ESP32. I believe on AliExpress they describe it as some sort of development board. But the key thing here is a 2.8 inch resistive touchscreen and it's 320 by 240 resolution. There's several different screen sizes in various listings, and some are resistive, some are capacitive. Comes with a stylus for the screen. ESP32, SD card slot. I'm not sure exactly what features and peripherals are on here. It looks like we have an addressable LED. I've only recently became familiar with this, and because being a yellow PCB, I discovered this watching one of Brian Locke's videos about a cheap yellow display. And there's a GitHub repo where people are contributing different ways to get this up and running. So I thought I would use this not as an ESP32 development board, but as a display with a more user-friendly interface. So I'm thinking possibly Maybe I can not even need wires for this. Maybe I can use ESP now or something like that to send update screen data. And then this can just be a sort of portable modular display that I can assign to whatever project I'm needing a display for. Looks like a micro USB cable. Oh, it's got something in it. Okay, so it's responding to touch. So I can flip between these calendar pages. I don't know what any of these demos do. This is the first time I'm seeing it, but it's working. At least I know the board's functional. I'm gonna get to work on trying to figure out how to integrate this into other projects as a display. 
I just noticed on this visuals with charts, you can click and drag to swipe the screen. Yep, I'm definitely going to be playing around with all of this. And finally, I have a couple of larger packages because I went Black Friday-ing on Amazon. First, I was out of 3D printer ink, so I got some more PLA. And according to Amazon, I have bought this before, so that would be a year ago, but it was on sale again, so two one kilogram spools. And this is white. And as usual, this is in my way, I'm in its way. I'll just take all this stuff out. More filament because they had a couple of colors on sale. Uh, this one's gray, two spools of gray. And this tool, hose clamp pliers. I don't know why it's in a bag and then in this zipper bag. It's not like a storage case, it's disposable. So these are sort of locking one direction. You have to release it to open and then as they close down it ratchets into position so you don't lose your grip at the end until you want to. So there's what they look like and this is for grabbing and installing or removing hose clamps because I'm always using regular pliers and especially if it's a hard to reach place they're always slipping off of the clamp it's really hard to work with so something like this I wanted to try out so you get a grip on it it locks in position and then you can maneuver it all you need to get things in place and I could have really made use of this recently when I was trying to figure out where that condensate leak was in my furnace there's three areas with hose clamps and I was struggling with pliers so the next time I'll be ready with this a couple of things that were on sale. Guitar effect pedals, like cheap ones and miniature sort of sized ones. This one's a Donner brand. It's a an analog delay pedal. So there's controls on here for the level, audio level of it, and how fast or slow the repeats are on the audio when it's echoing and feedback basically controls how long this whole echoing process continues until the whole thing fades out and it just takes newer audio so you can set it maybe for just a couple of quick repeats and then and that's it or you can make it do a couple of repeats but then keep repeating those couple of repeats for a longer overall time before it fades out probably easier to demo but that'll be for a future audio project this one is an Amazon Basics pedal. It's an overdrive pedal, so being green, I don't know if they intend this to be a Tube Screamer clone. So plug a guitar into that. You can control the level of this, tone, and then the drive level. So start giving it a little overdrive toward distortion, but not too heavy. So I just thought for budget stuff, why not get a couple of these, especially if they're on sale? See how it goes. Worst case, if I somehow don't like something about how they work, and if I don't send them back, I can always take it apart for science. Another Donner brand thing. This one's a power supply. I'm going to try not to disrupt the packaging on this, just in case I have to send it back because recently I had bought a similar little power supply like this and it squealed when a couple of effects were being powered by it so it couldn't handle it and there's no way I was going to keep that. So there's the power supply unit itself. So it comes with an 18 volt DC adapter to plug in. It's got a bunch of 9 volt outputs rated 100 milliamps 
and one of them being 500 milliamps because some pedals take more current, a 12 volt out and an 18 volt out. This is probably just a power strip distribution sort of thing with minimal circuitry. So these outputs, these supplies tend to describe themselves as isolated. I don't think in this price range they're isolated, as in floating individual output rails. So what that means is sometimes you can have a noisy, electrically noisy effect, and all of these eventually just don't work together and things start squealing in the amplifier. So I'm going to have to try that out. Looks like a little switching power adapter. 18 volts, 1 amp out. So I'm hoping this all doesn't go squealing. What's in this one? Okay, that's just a bunch of the individual power cables to go to each effect. I'm not even going to unbundle this because I've got other cables I can temporarily use to test. I really want to test this out, make sure I don't have to return it, because I don't want to start losing packaging and stuff. So that is a lot of good stuff for a Black Friday haul. I think there's some good things here to play around with, especially this cheap yellow display board. I'm hoping to put that into all kinds of multiple projects. We got some practical stuff we need, supply restocking, some tools, some parts for upcoming projects. Thanks to Patreon and channel supporters for helping contribute to all of these shenanigans.